And here with us now from our world headquarters in Tel Aviv is Elon Levy. Elon, thanks for being with us. Uh, Elon, why is Prime Minister Netanyahu now trying to build new West Bank settlements while the U.S. has, has asked him to hold off? Prime Minister Netanyahu agreed to build this settlement as part of the negotiations with the residents of the outpost of Amona, which was demolished earlier this year because the Supreme Court determined that it was built on private Palestinian land. He wanted the residents to leave quietly, and so this was part of the agreement for them. But look at the political situation in Israel. For the first time in decades, we have a pure right-wing government that essentially has no excuse not to pursue what it's promised, which is to expand settlement construction in the absence of any pressure from the U.S. We'll get on to that. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has coalition partners to his right, the Jewish Home Party, which represents many of the settlers, and he needs to justify, he needs to deliver in order to justify the Jewish Home staying in the government and not bringing it down uh, because he has no excuse. Uh, Elon, have we had any reaction from the Palestinians on this? Uh, we haven't heard any official statement from the Palestinians just yet, but what's interesting is the response from the United States. Uh, we have a statement from the White House which is like no other. The White House is essentially going to turn a blind eye. Uh, you'll recall that Sean Spicer said earlier on that settlements are not an obstacle to peace, but unrestrained settlement activity does not help bring peace. That was the distinction the White House made. Now, in this statement, the White House is acknowledging that Netanyahu and announced that this settlement, it was announced plans for this settlement and 2,000 more settler homes before President Trump made the expectations that he hold back a bit on settlements. That statement says Netanyahu has been quite clear that he insists he's going to uphold that commitment. So, this, so the White House seems to be quite happy at the moment saying that Israel is committing to take the president's uh, concerns into account in future. And in fact, we're having reports right now coming out of the Israeli security cabinet that Israel is going to restrain settlement construction so it's inside existing settlements and within the existing construction line of those settlements in order not to change their footprint and the so-called peace map for future. Uh, so, Elon, what you're saying is that the Trump administration is basically not objecting to this and, and agreeing that Netanyahu is still holding on to a promise that he made before conversations that he had with the president. Exactly. President Trump wants to start his relationship with the Israeli government on the right foot, and that means not causing a crisis right at the beginning. He understands the prime minister made a political commitment that would be very difficult to, for him to get out of. And so essentially he's drawing a line in the sand and saying what was agreed was agreed, and we're going to start new from now. I need you to take my, consider, I need you to take my concerns into account from now, and it, agree, it appears that Israel is going to go in that direction. All right. Elon Levy, thank you so much as always.